All right, I was busy building a, a little shelf unit over there, and my gun went out. It just makes a little noise. When you pull the trigger. So, I'm going to have to pull the trigger out and see what's wrong with it. All right, so let's start tearing this thing down and see what's wrong with it. All right, in order to get this out, we're going to have to drive out these pins right here. And I've got this little set of uh, punch, a little punch set. You can get these on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in the description in case you're interested. But you can also use nails or, you know, file off the tip of a nail or use the head of a nail, whatever works for you. But, um, you know, if you have these, you're going to, it's going to make an easier job for you. Okay, so as, see how this scoops down. So the long one goes in, the, in this hole, the shorter one goes in that hole. Now we've got to get this out. And it's a little trickier because there's, there's a retaining ring around the outside of it that you don't want to mess up. And there's that little retaining ring. It's really just a lot like an O-ring. Okay, right, I'm going to finish getting that out the back. There's a little spring on here that we're going to have to pull up like that. And then that should slide right out. And here's your valve. It should come down. There we go. Out like that. There's a little spring right there. Alright, we pull that out. Kind of looking to see what might have happened here. That little overring feels sticky. Little lip right there, you can get under it and pull this up. Yeah, that's the problem right there. See that? That O-ring has just fallen to nothing. So, I'll get this part ordered. I'll link it in the description in case you need it, and then we'll get this put back together. Well, the new part got here, and so all we've got to do is just insert this down into the hole. And just push, push it down firmly. There we go. And then just put the pins back. Now, you want to be sure you slide that spring back onto that pin right there. Get this pin started in there, and you've got to line up the holes in your trigger. There we go. Put your little retainer back on there that you kept. And that should have it repaired. Let's give it a try. Alright, that's got it working again. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.